So back in March, I decided to make a room makeover video because we would all be stuck at home. Little did I know that this whole world situation would last so long that I decided to completely redo my room again. So I decided to completely make my room into my Pinterest dreams, get a new bed, everything, and just totally transform it. And here is how it turned out. Do you see how big this bed is? It's it's huge. So here is the before of my room, just an overview. Everything's kind of random in the decor at this point because I just don't really know where to put things. I also have this kind of corner day bed situation, which I really don't like that much. And as you can see over in this corner, I have this really chunky dresser, which takes up a lot of room and this ladder on the wall and also this rug, which I'm definitely going to get rid of in this video. And again, just the bed situation. So my bed used to be right here. Um, now there's just like trash on the ground. So I'm literally going to sleep on this mattress until we buy me... A new bed so that's the plan I need to clean up that and then I have literal giant trash bags full of random objects that were in the storage drawers underneath my bed which are from like age three until now Okay, that entire trash bag is filled with things that are just trash. We're going to throw them away. And then these things are things I'm going to keep. And then this bag is things to donate. Better, but I still feel like it's so dirty. I haven't accomplished much, but next we're going to clean. Hello all, welcome to day two of our room transformation. I'm sorry, the vacuum is going in the back, but today is super exciting because probably like the biggest change we're gonna make today is the bed. So I ordered a bed off of Wayfair a couple days ago and it actually came yesterday, which was super quick. So today we're going to build the bed and it's just going to, I feel like it's gonna completely change how my room looks and I'm very excited, so. Let's build the bed. Also, I have this giant mattress on the ground now. <laughs> if you don't think my room is a mess, it, it really is. It really is. But you know what? It's going to look cute in the end. So, let's build this bed. Hey. Say hi. <laughs> He's not interested. <laughs> Step two, attach side rail to the headboard panel and footboard. Side rail. G. Do we have a G? <laughs> you just call me Bella the Builder. Baby. Like Bob. Yeah. <laughs> This bed is gigantic. Oh my god. Oh, do you see how big this bed is? It's it's huge. I've only ever had a twin bed my whole life and this feels giant. Like it's no okay, it's not as long as me, but like you get the idea. It's it's very big. Wow, this is so cool. <laughs> Thank you. 
So on day three, my family helped me put the rug in. So we added this gray rug instead of the old green one and put it underneath my bed. I also worked on my dresser, emptied it out so that I could kind of move my clothes around and not have my dresser in my room anymore. Okay, room update time. We moved a bunch of stuff and put some new things in. So, this is what it's looking like. This entire area is a complete mess, but we did move the bed back a little bit, and then we put my rug back. So, this was in my apartment, but we moved it back into my room because the other one was just so gross and dirty and just not cute so we added the gray rug back which i'm so happy about and then over here i don't know if i told you all but we actually took the ladder down from my loft area um so my mom took the ladder down which made so much more space right here because this entire like section was unusable because the ladder was going diagonally across it and it was like this giant brown thing i'll show you Right here so it looks so much better without it i'm so glad we moved it so we put my desk back this is my very <laughs> my very rickety desk and then just moved some drawers and stuff and then i put my leaning mirror back over here and then i also ordered today a really cute neon sign and this wall collage kit from etsy which i'm so excited about so yes Oh, today we're going to add the finishing touches and this is the neon sign that I got from Amazon. I will link it down below. We're going to put it above the bed right here, I think, and also this bulletin board. So it's just a white plain one, like that's the front of it. And we're going to put it on top of like the desk area right here. So that is the plan. Are you being helpful, Mr. Goose? <laughs> How's that? We put up some little fairy lights up there. I think it looks so cute. I'm definitely going to adjust them more so they look a little bit more even. But the neon light is so pretty. I love it. Again, I will link it down below. As far as neon lights go, I think this one was pretty affordable and I do really like it. So I'm so excited. So today I'm going to add the finishing touch to my room. So I got this collage kit from Etsy. I will link it down below. But it has all of these really pretty kind of like peach pink different like photos like very pinterest vibes really pretty so i'm going to pick out which ones i want and kind of like how i want to arrange them and i'm going to make the collage like right here behind the mirror area like around the mirror kind of and just do this wall and i think it's gonna be so cute so yes that is the plan Okay, here is the progress. I'm definitely going to adjust it a little bit, but I think it's so cute. I love how it turns out and it just all goes together really well. And I feel like it's just such a pretty wall. It goes with the other colors in my room and it's just so cute. Okay, it is time for the final tour. I am so so excited you guys it turned out even cuter than i imagined it would and make sure you stay till the very end because i'm going to be doing the before and after and it's just so satisfying trust me but right now i'm going to give you the tour i'm so excited okay so here is a quick overview but let's start over here so we took the ladder down that was right here which just made this whole area look so much better i have a little um hamper thing of blankets right there and this is how the desk turned out i think it's so so cute so we hung up this bulletin board i just added a couple little things on there and then we just have a nice simple setup for my computer 
my little books and everything I need for school and then also a little bit of makeup over here and I just love how this came together. I also added a string of kind of fairy lights on the top here which just looks really pretty in this little bit of a darker corner and then moving over here this was already here but i just like i kind of simplified this little jewelry tray here added some more things on there and then i can also store my textbooks and stuff for school with the desk and then this is new i hung this up it's a kind of like floating circle shelf kind of thing. I actually got this from TJ Maxx for only $8, which is such a steal. So I just added some little decor items, this little Eiffel Tower, some succulents, and I'm probably going to move this around, but I just love this simplicity right here. This is kind of random, but they have my tripods and stuff. I'm going to find a better place for that soon. Here is the mirror. So if we back up, you can see I have the mirror in the corner here. This is my easel mirror. I got it from TJ Maxx and I absolutely love it. And I love that we have the gold here, the gold here, and then also the gold in my little jewelry area. This is one of my favorite parts. Look how cute this is. I'm actually obsessed. So this area has changed a lot. I added this collage, which I will link down below. This one's from Etsy and this mirror in the middle. I added this decal right here, which is from Amazon. So that looks so amazing. And then here is what we did to replace my dresser. So I used to have a dresser in here, but I really didn't like it. So we took it out and we're using this kind of awkward built-in shelf thing as a makeshift dresser with these bins. And I just think... It looks so cute. I am obsessed with this area. I think it's so pretty. So this is probably the biggest change, which is the bed. As you can see, I got a totally new bed. This one is a queen size um, instead of the twin that I had. So we just got this simple white bed frame from Wayfair and also the mattresses from Wayfair. So I added this fluffy pink blanket, which is from TJ Maxx. All the pillows and bedding were things that I already had and then I added the neon sign above the bed I just thought it was nice because I have so much space right above the bed area so this one says do what you love that is from Amazon I will link it down below for you all but I just love how this looks I think it's so simple it's so cute it adds the pink without being too overpowering and I love it Okay, here is the official before and after. You can see how much we've transformed this room. I think it's so cute. Again, links down below to all the new decorations I got. And I hope you all love this video. I love you all so much and enjoy the before and after. Yeah.